In this video, you will learn what deportation tariffs mean to the housing market. Now you're hearing about deportation and tariffs and different things pertaining to the economy, things that President Trump wants to put into place, but how will it affect the housing market? What does that mean for you who's looking to become a homeowner? Will prices be higher? Will we see prices decrease? Does the market remain the same? Stay to the and watch this video to find out exactly how the housing market will be affected, what that means for you, and what you can do going into 2025 to achieve your dream of home ownership. Hi, I'm Kevin Jefferson, the People's Lender. Do me a huge favor. If you're new to the channel, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. So we have a newly elected president, re-elected president, Donald Trump. President Trump, who takes office in January 2025, has big goals. His goals are to increase tariffs on products that are being shipped into the United States of America. He's also talking about deportation. Let's talk about tariffs first. Any products that are put into the United States are brought into the United States. He wants to put a tariff on them, which is a tax. You can see the definition right here, right? Which means he said he'll do 100%, 200%, even as much as 2000%. That's to keep from China and other countries from shipping their goods into the United States and making it where the United States of America has to produce their goods. What does that mean for us as consumers? That means that any goods that we're currently getting now that are being shipped into the United States, we will not be paying the same amount. So imagine a 100% tariff being put on a box of coffee. You know, let's say the coffee costs currently has a tariff of $5 and he increases that 100% we feel that pinch of the increase in what the tariff is. Let's say it's 2000%. We increase that. A lot of parts and materials that come from Lowe's, Home Depot, and other supply houses that supply the housing market with things that go into homes uh, that allow for builders and contractors to build are coming from overseas. So they're gonna have a tariff on it. What does that mean for you and I? That means that if we're looking to fix on our house and do renovations, if we're looking to get new construction or to build our house, the cost of that house is going to increase because there's a tariff being taxed on that good and that gets passed down to the consumers. So that's something we need to consider when we're looking at what is going to, something that's going to affect the housing market. Now, whether he'll be able to pass the, per, the high percentage of tariffs that he want to, that's the remain to be seen. But that's something we need to take a look at to make sure that we understand what the tariff is, how it can affect the housing market, and if it will actually go into play. Are you in the process of purchasing a home? or wanting to purchase a home and it's a lot of information and you need somewhere to keep your notes. Well, I've put together a home buyer's journal to help you journal your journey to home ownership. By using this journal right here, it allows for you to, to take notes on your budget, what needs to be paid, things that you need to take care of in your credit. It also has budget worksheets, notes inside, as well as it allows for you to take notes on when you're selecting your real estate agent, your lender and the different homes you're going to view. And at the end of the process, it allows for you to have a safe place to put the number to your HOA, when the roof was replaced, who the utility companies are and their phone numbers. For $19.99, this could be yours. The link will be below so you can purchase it. Act fast, they won't last long. So along with the tariffs that President Trump is looking to put on any goods sold to the United States and brought into the United States. He's talking about mass deportation. So he's looking to do massive deportation for undocumented workers that are here in the United States. So what President Trump wants to do is get rid of people who he considered illegal immigrants who don't belong in the country. Now, if you have been around any type or have any type of repairs done or seen any type of construction, probably 85 to 90 percent of the workers on that job site from a different country. And most of those guys, unless guys or gals, let's be realistic, don't have the proper paperwork to be in the United States. One, because they fled their country because they wanted to get out of the conditions that they had Two, because they're afraid and they didn't know what the process was or didn't have the money for the process 
to start, you know, becoming a citizen of the United States. That's what he considered illegal immigrants. If those workers are taken off the job and moved out of the United States, housing prices in terms of new construction and renovations will skyrocket. Why will they skyrocket? Most of the times documented workers from the United States work for less than United States workers. Typically when you're in the United States or you're an American citizen, you typically require or you're asking for a higher wage of pay for the type of work that you do. You also have unions who require you to make a certain amount of money because you're part of the union. You have unions for electricians, you have unions for plumbers and other skilled laborers. What does that do? So if a house currently costs $300,000 to build with the uh, current workers that we have from another country, skilled workers might I add, however, they're gone and now we have to tax that wage of what the union worker from the United States is going to be making, that house could probably, could potentially increase 50 to $100,000. What does that do? That may mean less people are going to have the ability to buy a home or at least new construction home because the numbers may not work for the builder. So the builder may have costs that he or she wants to put into the house to get it to a certain price, but now that they have to pay skilled laborers and workers more because of the union and the cost, the cost increase is going to be passed down to the home buyer, which will then create a higher price home in the market. If it gets too high and prices become unaffordable for the average American, which they in to be realistic in this market, they're getting there. If not there in some places, then there, there may be less people who are purchasing new construction homes. And now they're looking at the currently built homes that is on the market. And what that does is that could skyrocket those prices because now instead of people going to new construction and existing sales, they may focus just on the existing sales because they don't want to have to pay the astronomical fees for a new construction home when they may be able to get the same thing for a better price on the other side of the market. With the fact that we also, previously in this video, we talked about tariffs. President Trump is able to increase the tariffs on products coming to the United States and deporting the workers that we have here, which he called Ill illegal immigrants. That is going to change and it's going to make a huge impact, a huge negative impact on a new construction home building sites. So that's going to affect builders and that economy. I think his goal is to try to, as his slogan says, make America great again, but have workers, you know, keeping everything in the in house in the United States, making it where Americans have more jobs. However, it creates a problem for homeowners and home ownership because now the already high prices are skyrocketing because we have to pay more because of tariffs as well as labor. So with the tariffs and the deportation of undocumented workers, illegal immigrants being taken off the table, increasing housing prices, as well as there could all, it, it also doesn't just affect new construction. It affects investors who are buying, fixing and flipping properties, doing renovations and rehabs. It affects homeowners who want to stay in their current home, but make some updates and adjustments. Everything becomes higher and more expensive to do if the tariffs are put on as well as the undocumented workers uh, being shipped out of the United States. At the beginning of this video, I told you to stay to the end to figure out some things that you could do to prepare yourself for 2025 and then if this does happen, right? First thing is always going to be to decrease your debt. While this could create a huge problem for the housing market, if you're in position to purchase by having the right income, low debts, it may not have as much of an impact on you as well. You also want to get low debt so you can actually qualify. And in this market, I'm not sure if adding the tariff and the deportation, how will that affect interest rates? So, you know, interest rates may come down, but that tax and when I say tax, I'm referring to the tariff and the tax of having 
skilled laborers from the United States that get a higher wage or pass along, the interest rate dropping may not have a significant effect on your monthly payment. So you want to get yourself a budget. You want to make sure you budget to see where your money is going. You also want to make sure you try to decrease your spending, get rid of items that you no longer need and figure out a way to continue to save or to begin start saving. Invest into your 401k if they offer it at your job. Allow for your company to match your 401k. Um, you may want to consider getting a second job, starting a business, or, you know, I hate to call it a side hustle, but a side hustle to help you to be able to save more money and to be able to tap into home ownership. While I think this is going to be an uphill battle, we don't know what the next four years are going is going to bring in the housing market. Um, and that's under any president, right? However, you do want to position yourself because of things that are normally coming from outside the United States into the United States or higher, you're going to need more money, more disposable income to buy the basic essential goods. If you love that cup of coffee in the morning, United States does not grow coffee. It's coming from outside of the United States and you're going to be taxed on it and you're going to see coffee prices increase. The increase of coffee price, one or two things happen. You either pay for the coffee price or you stop drinking as much coffee. Those are the little things we need to look into. I would look in trying to be able to buy as soon as you can, uh, if you can buy now before some of those taxes and tariffs come into play. While builders have a ton of incentives right now and it's hard to match and compete, at some point those may go away because they are going to get taxed with the tariffs as well as with their workers being sent out of the United States. Mind you, there's already a shortage of workers in those skilled laborer, you know, such as electricians, plumbers, HVAC guys and gals, um, inspectors, and those trades, there's already a shortage. So the ones who have that and they're, if they're the ones left, they have the ability to charge higher. I hope this video was helpful. I hope I shed some insight on what a, ta what a tariff is, as well as what deportation is and what that could do to not just our economy, but to the housing market. I'm Kevin Jefferson, this People's Lender. Have a great day.